Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to um, the Massachusetts Central Radio Show, the Kamoa's Automotive Radio Show, the Lock Corner, and Kamoa's Lock. Hello everybody, and welcome back to another one of these. Hello, it is great. Um... So yeah, it's been a while since you actually seen my face and I've done one of these videos, so uh, I'm here to rectify that. So um, I've done a lot of audio videos for you guys for the last couple of days um, because I want to do something different and the vlog count's coming up. I think I like 52 out of 85 days, which yeah, it's a lot, but it's coming up close, you know, um, I hope you guys aren't too disappointed we are 30 days in but we also have 30 plus videos worth of other content so it's not like um we're missing anything so yeah i'm gonna pitter patter yeah these vlogs we're gonna pitter patter for the first part of the year and i only have about a month's worth sorry um but that will change in april may june july august september october november december january february march on it uh, on is on is on so um so yeah everybody hello um so yeah i wanted to talk about work but i'm not going to talk about work because um kind of in a uh place right now where um uh you know where i'm kind of comfortable and um i um you know i Usually on Sunday, Monday, I usually do a mental reset, um, and there's usually days where, um, where if I have a short day, you know, I'll have a, um, short day at work, you know, like, uh, you know, I can change things up. Things are changing around for work, and I think, um, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the complexion kind of, kind of feels like, um, Target back in the day, so... Um, so I'm kind of used to what's going on and the hour rates that are going on. So, um, but yeah, um, it's March. So you guys know what that means. I'm going to go all in and things are going to be looking up this year. So, um, I usually start out slow and I, I usually work in sometimes be a little on the, uh, I think, I think for a lot of us. Or it can be a little, uh, it can be a little, it can be a little tedious at times. And, um, sometimes we lose the energy. Sometimes we get our mentally, sometimes we mentally get exhausted while we're done. So, um, it's always good for to Sunday and Monday for me to, um, recenter myself and refocus myself for the week and stuff like that and tackle new things. So, um, so and the and the years have um every year has been interesting. I've always had different things. It's not it's just not um but it's just not work that makes life worth living. It's also the it's also your personal life, what you do on your hobby days and stuff like that that, that matters. Um and stuff like that. So um so yeah, at this point, um, I'm just going to let things roll at work and stuff like that. There's some new challenges that I'm obviously bringing. They're obviously, um, want me to do more since, um, and take more responsibility, a little bit more weight, which I don't mind. If you guys know, I love a challenge. So, um, and you know, it's just, you know, you guys know me the first three months, usually I pace myself then. Then usually spring into the summer, I usually, I usually start logging the, that's, that's when I start logging the, that's when I start logging the miles, so, um, and I start going on, um, and I start logging the miles and things add up and, uh, my performance usually changes and, you know, um, I'm in a place where they're actually comfortable enough with me to do this and they're willing to challenge me better. Uh, and I think that's kind of the fruit of life 
a little bit. So and it doesn't matter what people say. Um, there's some people out there that I've met in my lifetime that are um, pessimistic. Um, they, they see the glass half empty versus me. I see the glass half full. Um, you know, optimism versus pessimism. It's a huge thing. The yin and the yang. Um, it's the difference between who's going to who's going to get what they want versus who's going to flounder. And usually the people who, um, and usually the people like me who have studied people's emotions and people's mannerisms will be able to recognize that at a, in a heartbeat and be able to not respond to those certain things because it's just, it's like in, that's actually what I want to talk about today. Optimism versus pessimism, people. So, it's, it's, there's people out there that are going to doubt you. There's people out there that are going to throw you down a, well, not literally a flight of stairs, but emotionally and mentally are going to throw you down a flight of stairs. And they are going to do whatever they can to um, rattle you and stuff like that. But if you can, but if you studied psych like, like me, uh, you can read people as long as you stay back. Um, even, even if there's trouble afoot, I'm like, you know what? I'm like, oh, let's just change the strategy. Let's just change how we do this. And let's see, if, and maybe this will work instead. Because I've obviously seen stuff like this before and it's not a mystery. So, um, and, um, you know, when you're positive, when you're good... It kind of, the trade-off of being a positive human being and being a, um, a warm human being is that um, you will actually take, you actually will be, you actually will take a little bit of, um, People will take advantage of you. They'll use you and all this other stuff because you're a nice guy. But usually um, what's good about that is it, it's kind of a loss that, um, especially at work and um, life and stuff like that, uh, usually the people try to use it, but other people try to boss people around. Um, usually it's because they don't want to do the job or they're not, or they're lazy or they're pessimists themselves and they just don't want to be bothered and you can tell who it is, who those people are. And uh, it sort of feels good that, yes, you have to deal with it and you deal with it and it seems like that. I, I've come to the fact that there's people that do that, but um, you learn how to, um, you learn how to uh, kind of circum circumvent the problems and be able to um not react and what like that because people just sit there and go i mean if people say that i'm that my pace is bad at work i'm like i'm going as fast as i'll just sit there and i'll do what april used to do i'm like oh i'm going as fast as i can i'm like uh, there's a lot of details i'm like i have to do this do that and usually the the bosses there's some bosses like oh, all right all right we'll get somebody to help you and stuff like that they give me give me the helper and we fill the out pretty fast and then there would be the stick in the muds that would say oh no this aisle's half empty and stuff like that and i'm and i just sit there and turn to her and i said no i said no don't listen don't listen to them they don't know what they're missing if they i said if they wanted to get the results those people should be helping us then um, that would be the salt. That's the one thing I notice about people who are pessimistic. They're like, oh, it's the, it's usually the ones that don't do anything. Like, they wish they could do it, but they don't want to be bothered to. And those are the people that are missing out. I don't get pissed at those people because I'm like, you know what? You want to miss out? You want to lose? You want to waste your time? You want to grind your gears? You want to spin your wheels? You want to get frustrated? Go right on ahead, follow. Go right on ahead, follow a lady. Do, do whatever you want to do do whatever you please to do because you're missing out and that's not my problem and you can't always turn everybody over to a new leaf because 
they've got something going on. And if you can, um, it's it's a miracle, but rarely people um, do it. And But yeah, there's a select few that I've managed to, people's opinions I managed to change. Although I'm not gonna do it a lot now because um, I've my, those days are done, so. Um, I'm just getting to the point where, where I guess I just, I want to do, if, if people don't want to learn, people don't want to change and people don't want to find, because I know there's a lot of people who are passing this, pass up on a lot of opportunities. It's not just to, especially managers, they pass up an opportunity to learn about you because they sit there and they judge and like, oh, we don't want to, we don't want to delve into these people because it's because they, because they literally sit there and they're like, this is. This person's trash, even though they shouldn't be saying that. And people who do that, you know what? They can, they can go and do that. Because I'm not going to carry their their judgments with me. Because I know that they're not going to be doing. It. But you learn how. But the opposite end, you can learn how certain people react, and you know how to deal with it. Because um, honestly, I'm the type of guy. I've been called slow. You guys don't know I have Asperger's, so I've been called slow, I've been called thick, I've been called the time waster sometimes, I've been called everything, I've been called double vision, quad vision, whatever. You can say whatever you please, It's it just goes to show how, um, it just goes to show that you're wasting your, your, your thoughts on uh, stuff that you can easily pick. People, you can easily... Uh, you can easily insult people and pick out a weakness and stuff like that. Good for you. Good for you, fella. Good for you. That's good for you, fella. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Good for you, good for you babe. Do whatever you want. Therapists have to do it every single solitary day. At least. Well, most of them, not all of them. Most therapists can actually point out... Um, most po most therapists can actually point out um, something they observe in you, and they try to find a way to approach you that's not judgmental. They're not meant to be judgmental. You cannot be judgmental in therapy, and that's something that a lot of people should do. Unfortunately, the people in the business world that can't do that, and they have their own personalities, and I get that. But I think they miss a lot if they're trying to do this. And you can gauge whether somebody's really gonna um, spend the time on you or do whatever. And most people shut down because they don't want to take the time. It's not that they don't care. It's just that they just don't want to take the time to learn other people because that's all they know and they're all job oriented. These are those the people that should just stick to doing what they're doing and not really judge instead of spinning their wheels. And then they sit there and they go, oh, I wasted my time thinking about this. You should have told me. I'm like, you didn't want to do it. You didn't want to. You, and you can read in the body language that they don't want to. So it's like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I noticed this. And I do it. And, it, and when I pick stuff on people, I don't say it out loud because um, I don't say it out loud. I just make those observations because... Um, when you're in, when you do therapy, when you do behavioral therapy, and you try to do cognitive be, cognitive behavioral therapy (CBT), um, not the other CBT, not that. That's the bad thing. That's that's something that that's um, the other CBT I'm talking about is uh, I can't really say on screen because I probably get them monetized. It's it has to do with um, dominatrixes and stuff like that. Um, you know. Uh, really, really screwed. Um, you know, uh, you guys can look up that on. You guys can look for those of you old enough. If you're below the age of ten, I don't. I don't recommend. I don't recommend when you're about twenty, twenty-five. I recommend looking it up. But uh, cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, usually, what I do is I sit back and I observe. I don't judge. I observe. And I determine if I'm, and I determine, uh, and I determine, and what I do is it determine, it doesn't determine anything. I just be myself. 
um, because usually when I'm usually when I'm myself and usually when I I don't really change my attitude toward anybody because there's tons of people out there if you change your attitude for every single solitary person that had a personality that was negative you'd be out of energy but you'd learn a lot of that you have to pick your battles so um I just observe from afar and I say yeah yeah okay and then they'll sit there and go, oh, I, I, I knew this all along, which, and then they didn't. You just, you, you can tell, so, um, stuff like that. But you guys can hear Microsoft Flight Simulator in the background. It's loading, I'm, I'm loading up, uh, um, I'm looking up, I'm loading up Central Europe, Central and Eastern Europe, because Eastern Europe is actually pretty interesting, I'm talking about Moscow and stuff like that, so, um, Russia. Um, oh, uh, I usually don't talk about this, but uh, R.I.P. to the people who um, rest in peace um, for the people that were actually um, unfortunately killed in a terrorist attack by the Islamist State causing trouble yet again. So, I'm going to give them I'm going to give them Russians, the poor Russian people. I don't have anything against Russian people. Not all Russians are bad. Some of them are very good. I know a few. I know a few Russians in my time, but I'm going to give them a little silence starting now here. Yeah, it's just, it's just, I've seen some of the photos. It's really nasty what happened. Um, people just should know better. If you want to talk about people that are really pessimistic and really sour towards people in the world, it's got to be the Islamist State uh, and stuff like that. But there's nothing I can do. There's nothing we can do to change because that's their ideals, stuff like that. Um, and if somebody, and I always get a laugh, like, We've had a couple, like, I've had a couple bosses, I'm not going to name names. Like, I've had a couple supervisors over the years that have some really interesting personalities. And it's always hilarious. I always find it hilarious when they pick out a problem and they huff up their chest and they breathe in all that hot air, that all that CO2. And they sit there and like, whoa, I found, I, I found a problem with this person, blah, 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 blah. I'm like... And you just sit there and you start laughing and you're like, <laughs> you're in retail, buddy. Okay, you made an observation. Good good God. I mean, there's therapists, there's lab people. <laughs> I used to do that one. I used to do that. But I, I've, I've been observing people's motives since I was like 10. So not, not a mile. And I've been picking up on people's behaviors even when they were kind of detrimental to me um with the school committee and stuff like that and then hey bon, you guys know that story so i don't really feel so yeah you guys uh, so yeah you pick out a fault great great make your observation run and actually i wish people would ask like if like well, why do you do this why do you do that i wish people would ask because isn't that the way you're going to learn the most is if you ask what people do instead of saying, uh, well, well, putting your hands on your hips and like, oh, that's a fault. I, I don't want to deal with that because I've got 90 other things. If people actually did what I do and actually pick things apart, and it was something Grandpa Dom used to tell me all the time. He used to like, you got to pick everything apart. You got to pick everything apart. And you got to put it back together again. If you want to understand something, all of its mechanical components. I think he was showing me some little old driving game that this was way before. This was this was like prototype um, of um, handheld games. This was way before Nintendo. It was a racing Formula One game. You know, the one where you race on a background and there's a film in the background, sort of like a movie screen. This is before. This is way before Nintendo. This is way before Nintendo put out pole position and all this other stuff. Cool stuff, and I'm happy. And it was nice to take part and stuff like that. I wish people were like that. 
And it's kind of the reason why I like having Asperger's because you take stuff apart and you like and you obsess over and over and over again. <laughs> so I'm, you know, it's the reason why I'm so smart and I've gotten so many things. People just, people were just sit there and judge. I'm like, I'm like, okay, oh, and then they'll sit there and they're like, oh, you're not this, blah 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 blah. I'm like, but you don't know me from a hole in the wall. I'm only showing you part. Even if I'm going all in at work, even though I'm showing my best effort work, that's only a fraction of what I'm showing you. Like, there's so much more to me than just me putting boxes on a shelf. Like, that's a portion of your life. That's a sliver of your life. So, it's like, you're you're only there for eight. Nine. You're only there for eight hours. For You're only there for eight hours. The rest of eight, nine hours, I mean, the rest of it, I mean, you have... I mean, you have all the rest of the day when you go back home, you know, um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, but yeah, I got to charge this and I'm going to put this up. But yeah, um, I'm going to do a vlog tomorrow because I have another day. I'm going to be able to rat. Well, actually, I have a ENT, an, an ear, an ear, nose and throat um, appointment because my because my storing is terrible. I'm going to actually have fun figuring this out because I need to, because I figure in order to work hard, I need to generally a good, good night of rest. And apparently I'm making horrible noises while I'm breathing, while, while I'm snoring. I would love to see. I'm probably going to have to make a couple of recordings over the next couple of weeks, but we'll see. Um... But yeah, I just want to tell you guys, I'm actually loving it, loving work. We're actually getting, I'm actually kicking into high gear and things are actually changing for me uh, for the better. And the challenges just keep mounting and I can only have a big grin on my face for this one. So, obstacles may come in your way, challenges may come your way. You may feel like the weight of, like the, weight of the world is on your shoulders, but I wouldn't have it any other way so good day folks i'll see you guys tomorrow for another one of these peace out